and service dogs help people in so many ways, but if they start losing their eyesight, it can affect their ability to perform their job. Indy Vet is offering free eye exams in May, and Indy Vet's Dr. Heidi Klein is here, along with Susan Taylor and her therapy dog, Kiva, to tell us a little bit more about this and this program that you guys are doing. Um, first of all, talk to us about Kiva, because when, you know, usually when there are people here, everyone's focused on the dog. <laughs> they they want to know about Kiva. Well, Kiva is two years old. She's a therapy dog. She does therapy work at Community Heart and Vascular, where uh -huh. I'm a nurse, and she goes every Thursday. Kiva's been doing this since she was about 18 months old, uh -huh. and she is certified through Therapy Dogs International. She has sweet eyes, too. Yes, she does. Are there a problem with her eyes, and how um, common is this then for therapy dogs or any dog to start having eye issues? Yeah. Well, Kiva's going to have her eyes examined as part of this okay. as part of this um, mm -hmm. service, mm -hmm. but so we don't know yet, but okay. looks good so far. But Eye problems are common in dogs. Um, it's something that we can see breed-related problems like cataracts or progressive retinal mm -hmm. atrophy or even glaucoma. But there's also problems that dogs can get that can be acquired, like you know, getting a scratch on their eye or having some sort of other trauma to the eye. Yeah, are there other symptoms too um, that maybe wouldn't be as noticeable? Or there's the times where there are no symptoms at all and they right. have an issue. Right. Well, yeah. So there are obvious symptoms of eye problems. I mean, they can get things like squinting, discharge from the eyes redness, problem seeing, but then there's also things that may be difficult to detect, especially in the early phases. Yeah. So that's why it's important for dogs to come in for this exam and have their eyes looked at by an ophthalmologist. And also they can, they can also, you know, other dogs should see their vet once a year for their okay. exam. Who's available um, or what dogs are available here? And is this free? What kind of exams are going to be done? Right. So this is going to be for guide um, therapy dogs, okay. registered therapy dogs. Um, police, military, um, you know, all those, all those service dogs, but they need to be certified. So what we're going to be able to do is a full eye exam on these dogs and, and check for those diseases while they're still early. Okay, I'm going to put up that information right now, then we're going to talk a little bit more about Kiva. The free eye exams for service dogs. Here's where you register right there. Um, more information too. And what is that? I, I'm just looking at it all ACBO together. ACBOeyeexam.org. Okay. It's all a bunch of letters. Yeah. In my, oh, so they need I, to go <laughs> there and register, okay. and then they can call and schedule their appointment with IndyVet. Um, it's first come, first serve, but we we're able to serve a lot of dogs. Oh, great. Tell me one more thing about Kiva, because I know now people are more, even more interested after hearing us talk. Tell me one more thing about Kiva before we leave. Well, she visits people who are in the hospital. Mm -hmm. She visits families while they're waiting for their um, loved one to come out of surgery. Um, she'll walk with um, people who post-op yeah. in the hallway. It's much more fun to take that post-op walk when you have a pretty little dog walking <laughs> with you. Um, she sits and lets people pet. Um, it takes your mind off, I guess, of does. some of the bad things that are happening. So. Um, Studies have shown that you know your blood pressure lowers when you're petting an animal. Um, they're just they just offer another form of giving you help. Thank you. And love. Thank you for Thank you letting so us know all about this again. Box59.com/links will hook you up on how to get those exams.